So I'm sitting in the vape store and I was kind of just joking around. I'm like, I want to see something stupid. And then we got here, what's your name again? Dustin. We got Dustin here, he's like, I'll do anything stupid for money. So I'm like, I got Carolina Reapers at my house. I'll give you 50 bucks to eat two of them. He's like, sure. So we have Carolina Reapers right here. I was actually gonna do this for a video with like a couple of my friends, but all my friends are P-U-S-S-Ys and they didn't want to do it. So he's gonna eat, which ones are the nice big ones, dude? I think these two will be good. All right, I'm gonna pull them out of the package. Just so you know, I'm not forcing him to do this. I'm telling him it's not a good idea. I'm telling him he might and I would never do this. I mean, I would do it for 50 bucks. I would, I would do it for free, just like if everyone else did it for like a YouTube video, because it's funny, but $50, two peppers. He, he can't drink or eat anything for 15 minutes. The 15 minutes goes by, I hand him the 50 bucks. He, he can't puke either. You gotta chew him. Can I take the stem out at least? What? Can I take the stem out? Yeah, you can take the stem out. Oh my god. I'm nervous. <laughs> you just went right in, dude. Oh, they're already fucking hot, dude. <laughs> I can't even swallow them, bro. <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't time it. Hold on. Alright, timer starts now. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. This shit's fucking hot. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> Are you dying yet? What is it? Like, what's going through your mind right now? Dude, my tongue is on. It's. Dude, it's just jumping everywhere, dude. So, I think I'm gonna have a little twitch. <laughs> <laughs> is it worth it? <laughs> it's worth 50 bucks. You know it only gets worse from here, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's slowly increasing, like, pain level. I'm starting to, like, not understand what you're saying, like, second by second. <sighs> I'm drooling, like, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's been 20 seconds, and he touched his eye, and he got in his eye. How does your eye feel? <laughs> Probably worse than my throat right now. If you guys ever watched the ghost pepper challenge, um, Cam spit a ghost pepper. <laughs> Cam spit a ghost pepper in my eye, and like now I he he feels my pain, even though oh. these are like five times hotter. Dude, my eye socket's gonna fall. Off. <laughs> so it's been 15 minutes. He did it. He didn't puke. He didn't do anything. But he's such a savage that he's gonna do the buy two get one free. Let's see it. He's rubbing out his lips. <laughs> If you guys want to follow him on Instagram, it's going to be right here right now. Check him out. Dustin Matosa, P-E-T-O-S-A. Dude's an animal. You just ate three Carol <laughs> You just ate three Carolina Reapers. Dude, this one's really fucking hot. <laughs> he has yet to take a sip of water. The only thing he has is he hit this like Soren. He said it was way worse, but... He's insane. This shit's fucking spicy, dude. <laughs> oh my. Dude, I need to go to Dairy Queen. What the fuck? Have fun, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up so bad, dude. You gonna throw up? My stomach's boiling. <laughs> so, after all that nonsense, um, we're at the shop. I was gonna take a break today. Been working like crazy. Um, I've been going to bed like every day, like getting home from the shop at like five in the morning. Because I kind of like working at night better. It's like more relaxing and I don't know. Kind of sucks sometimes because none of the stores are ever open. Sometimes when I need stuff, just can't have it and have to wait till the next day. But decided against it. I'm two videos ahead, but I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to come here and work anyways. Um, got the Forester on the lift. I need to, once I find a light, I need to drop this oil pan because this oil pan's really messed up. I said in a, yesterday's video that I was planning on like leaving it in, like the hack side of me wanted to leave it in, but I was like, you know what, screw it. I have a new oil pan, might as well not even toy with this because I don't know how deep the sump goes, but I guess we're gonna find out today. Really all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, where's the motor mount, where is it? Wow, I'm an asshole. Oh, I gotta take that motor mount out, and I gotta take that motor mount out, and then I'm gonna get the hoist, lift up the motor a little, because there's four bolts, under the subframe, you can see one right there. And hopefully I can get to it with a ratchet, drop the pan, and these don't have gaskets. All you do is pretty much make it with like RTV, and I already have the RTV and stuff. So I'm gonna um, get those motor mounts off, lower the car a little, get the hoist, lift the um, motor a little out of the car just so I can um, 
get to those bolts and let's see if it goes smoothly. We got this ratchet strap on this um, like AC um, bracket, power steering bracket, whatever, and some hook over there. So jack her up, dude. I got the motor mounts out and everything. We're just gonna get this high enough to where I can get those four bolts. There you go. Keep going. The radiator's gonna start coming up. It's all right. As long as no cords are getting pulled. Um. No, I think we're looking pretty fancy. Let me see how much room I have under here. Oh, we're golden. We're good right there. All right, so I'm not gonna film this part because Mike, man, you left me. I don't have my filmer and editor today. He had to take a break because um, we kind of been stealing his life away. I apologize for that, Mike. But um, I'm gonna take those bolts out, take that oil pan off, and we're gonna go from there. So all the bolts are out. I'm just kind of stoked that the RTV made it stick because now I can film this. Hopefully it doesn't fall on my phone. Good thing I'm getting this X. Come on. Come on, go. Come on. There we go. Something's happening. Oh, there she goes. Oh, fuck the dipstick. I'm an asshole. I guess I just pull it. It's literally just a dipstick holding it. Can you try to pull that out? I doubt it's going to do. Oh, it's probably bolted onto the motor. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely bolted. Hold on, guys. Well, I'm pissed. I just flipped this over. I didn't know there was still oil in it. But old oil pan, new oil pan. It actually didn't ruin the sump, which, I mean, I guess that's good. Kind of pulled it off for no reason, but curiosity killed the cat, I guess. But I didn't, I didn't die yet, so I guess we're good. But the oil sump, it's not damaged, so I'm just going to leave this one in because there's no point of replacing a used oil sump with a used oil sump. So now I'm just going to clean all that RTV off. It looks like actually Honda Bond, but I'm going to clean all that crap off with a razor blade, clean off the um, new oil pan because it's got the red RTV on it, make it all smooth, and then I'm going to RTV it again and put it back up. This is what this one looks like. So before... After, go. Mike over here in big white. They clean the oil pan gasket. Show them what you got, dude. Show them the new addition. Oh, dude, I, I, guys, I finally got a belt. We finally can't see a butthole anymore, so that's a plus. Um, while they were doing that, I went down here. I had a razor blade fall on my face once, but it's all right. The rod knock. Oh, why did the light shut off? The rod knock luck didn't kick in yet, but that's all clean up there. So now... I'm gonna get some RTV, put it in the oil pan over there, and then we're gonna put it up, drop the motor down, line up the motor mounts, then I'm gonna put the intake on, and uh, maybe I should bleed the clutch first. We're gonna bleed the clutch first because it's feeling a little spongy. Even though I didn't break the system, for some reason it feels spongy, but hopefully that goes well because I don't have luck with clutches. Sean's doing a, Big White's doing a belt test over here. See if um, his butt crack hangs out. Lift up. You gotta go to a shorter... Not bad. I didn't see no butt crack. We gotta go to a shorter spot, man. Uh-oh. Well, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. This is definitely the real test here. All right, get up. Here we go. <laughs> Seen enough. <laughs> so, time to apply the RTV. You know, people say that the more you add, the less it will work. I kind of don't believe that. I'm kind of stubborn when it comes to that because... You know, I'm rod knock and I don't really care, but if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Maybe it'll leak, maybe it won't, but I'm gonna cake this son of a bee. So, just finished. Um, I'm actually gonna go show Torian this, because Torian's here um, helping Tommy with his brake pads. So I'm gonna go try to get his approval, see what he thinks of this. What do you think of this? You can't see. Like the, the uh, uh, no, I meant the RTV. Oh, <laughs> it's absolutely fine. Oh, it is. Yeah. Is it is it is it true that if you use too much, it's like bad? It could get into the oil pickup if it falls in, but yeah. not not in this scenario. You use a lot of RTV. You don't want to use it like 
the oil pickup like bolts to the bottom. You don't. Yeah, want to use it didn't crush. It didn't crush the pickup. No, it didn't. No. no. Because like I I've, I've heard that like people say that if you yeah, use yeah. too much RTV, it gets like it can like actually mess up the seal. But it doesn't really oh, make it any mess sense. Up the seal it gets into the into the shit. It'll get into the oil pan. And I don't know where I heard that up. from, but like I feel like the more you use, it just squeezes it out. It does squeeze it out, but it won't give you as good a seal for the reason being you got too much in there. Yeah, but if you squeeze it out and it dries around it... Yeah, it, but it still displaces space, so yeah. there's going to be more. There's going to be a high spot or a low spot. I didn't actually know you had to rub it like that. So you're, you're going... Torian just likes to get... You're going balls yeah, deep you, in this. Dude, you got too much on here. That's why. Tell him. Tell Don't him. tell me I have too much. Tell him. I'm telling you you got too much because you got too much. Dang it, dude. It stinks too, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. This is a Christian channel. This shop. is a Christian channel. Get it out of the showroom. <laughs> Tell him, Torian. Get it out of the showroom. Get yeah. it out of the fucking showroom. Hey, watch your mouth, Get it out dude. Of the showroom. I like that. I like that. <laughs> that like sounded like a bleep too. <laughs> Get out of the fucking showroom. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, man. Hey, You're look at this. Don't worry, I'm gonna put that hey. in your face when you're under the car. Right there. <laughs> I like the bald spot. How's the lighting? It looks good. I don't know what I'm like tr supposed to be looking at or what. Just how good I look in the light. That's, uh, his, po that's his post for Playboy. Let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here. Let's get out of the showroom. Get out of the showroom. What are you, people are always dirty. What are you doing right now? <laughs> I'm reading comments. There's a lot of hate, but then there's a lot of love. <laughs> what, what is there more of? Right now it's 50-50? Yeah, right now it's 50-50. Some days are good. Some days are bad. Today, there's a lot of hate. Maybe I shouldn't have spit on the floor. You shouldn't have spit on the floor. That was totally unnecessary, but... I, mean, I thought you clean it up. A lot of people, they're like, kind of trying to, like, take over my life almost. They're like, yeah, I don't like this kid. Get rid of him. Like, you guys act like this is a TV show. This is just my personal YouTube. I'm going to hang out, like, they're my friends over here. I'm going to hang out whoever I want, and I'm going to show whoever I want. So, if you don't like it, get out of here. But anyways, we got the oil pan up. Um, It's all Wait, good. Man working on the force. Come on, guys. <laughs> what do you want? What'd you say? You heard it. These tires new? Do you have a? Oh my god! Do you dude? have a step bit? That's no, weird. you have one right there. I need a bigger one. You're nerve wracking. Do you have any any drill bits? Big boy. So you got the oil pan in. I'm just gonna like, ignore him. What is wrong with you? Come on. Stop. Dare, dare me. No. <laughs> Do you have a drill bits? No. I need to make a catch can. I have a drill. I have you, drill. You These are the only cans. ones I have. You know catch cans save everything. I, I I think they do from some channel that I've heard of. What's it called? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, oil pans on. I put the new filter on. I was going to put the oil in, but you know, I'm just going to wait like 24 hours. Let this thing dry completely. I really, 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 really... Wanted to drive it tonight. Is it all ready? It is ready. Like it'll start. I mean, I just gotta put the airbox on, but other than that, bleed the clutch and I'm done. Uh, all I gotta do is put the airbox on, which is easy. But other than that, bleed the clutch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I don't really know what we're gonna do. Um, I'm feeling fat. I need some calories in me, so we're gonna go to a Burger King. I'm not gonna film that because who cares about it? Check out my catch can. <laughs> so the hose is gonna go over this. Just dump a bunch of oil into this green tea bottle, a sweet tea bottle. There. Where'd you learn that? Learn it? Yeah. It's not on YouTube. Whose channel? I don't know. Just got back to the shop. Burger King was delish. Everything is good. And now we're going to bleed the clutch because it's a little spongy. I'm going to do it like five times and I think we should be good. The reservoir seems to be full here. Go ahead and pump her up, dude. It's a little dirty, but that hasn't hurt anyone ever. All right. Woo! So the clutch is bled. Um, I talked to Scumberto on the phone and he actually faxed me over his paperwork. He is RTV certified. He did tell me that I can put oil in this now and I can run it. He says if it leaks now, it was gonna leak later anyways. He says it's pretty much all dry. He, as you can see, he sent me a certification. Everything's good. So I'm going to take his word for it. He went to school for this for a really, really long time. So, Scumberto, hopefully you didn't let me down. We're going to get this thing running tonight on the ground. It is on the ground. We're going to get this, the intake on, oil in, cooling in, power steering in. Who knows? We might even go through the woods tonight. We might go through this little hayfield that I know. Let's try it out.
So after hearing the good news from Scumberto, I'm over here trying, you know, rush, put the air box on, put everything in, and I realized something. You know, this is to a 2002 because I'm an ass and I threw out mine thinking, you know, yeah, I'm going to buy a snorkel before this thing gets put back in, you know. Well, I didn't. So I'm over here trying to run this 2002 and this for some reason is a little different. So my stock hoses couldn't fit. So I had to take some fuel line right here, shove it into that like little, that little fucking air thing. I don't know what I'm saying. Where's the other one? Oh, I had to shove it in like this and kind of make like a barb fitting, cut it right there and then slid the other piece on. So now it's just a little longer. So now I can reach the filter. We're gonna have no air leaks, don't worry. I zip tied it, everything's good. We're gonna get this beast running tonight. Excuse the breathing in the background if you hear it, it's Big Sean, he had Burger King. Can't breathe right now. <laughs> so here's the other side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through it because I probably didn't explain it awesome. So what I did here was fuel line, air line, shove it in, get it a little deep, dikes, snip. So you got that, right? Now, you take your other one from your other blown motor here, stretch this stupid thing off, I don't think that's what teeth are meant for. Oh, that tastes like gas, dude. Mm. Whatever. All right, now. In. Right? Cut. New line. Let's see if it leaks. No fucking leaks, but we're gonna put a zip tie on it, make it look look a little more fancy. So you know, when someone sees this car going down the road, it's been at the Rod Knock Mod Shop. Now this is the kind of stuff people wanna see. Not putting cannoli oil or whatever in your motor, you know what I mean? It was canola oil and not cannoli. Same difference, right? Cannoli oil. So that is how you modify your hose to run in one night. Thanks for watching. So this right here is part is for a 2002, and if I'm correct, the 2001 doesn't have the mass airflow sensor here. It has it right here. So I think this doesn't matter for this. And also, it has this like thing right here that there's no hoses that go. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I put like this M80 in it because I didn't have anything else to plug it. So I'm just going to use that. Hopefully it doesn't get sucked. I painter taped it around. But it should be good. Um, I don't know if we're going to be driving this thing through the woods tonight. I forgot that it didn't have an exhaust. But we're going to try to rig something together. I got some wood laying around. Maybe we can use that. Who knows. Alright, so we just put the exhaust on. I'm kind of thinking we can use this intercooler. Put it to some good use, you know. It's got a bunch of fins and it's like meant for cooling. But my question is, can it quiet down an exhaust? So... When I get some welding wire, I think I'm going to weld this bad boy straight to here. And, you know, we're going to have an intercoolered exhaust. It will keep the exhaust fumes, like, you know, cool. And it might go faster. I don't know. We'll figure it out someday. We got oil in the car. We got water in the car. We got automatic transmission fluid in the car. We got the LS1 battery in the car. We have everything in the car. Except that. Don't think it needs it. But we're ready to start it. Don't think it's going to start. Not very confident in this. But, if it doesn't, it's probably because of some grounds or some bull crap. But, here we go. Da -na -na -na. Fire extinguisher? No, it's fine. What the fuck? She don't even crank, dude. Test three. Test four. Damn, dude. 
So, we got the motor in, we have everything done. Um, we've been trying to like test everything because we thought it was grams, we thought it was a bunch of stuff, we've been testing everything. Then we ended up just pulling the starter out, trying to like bench test it and everything, and it actually doesn't spin. So I need a starter, doesn't really make any sense because the starter that I had was in the Forester before, but now it doesn't work. So, I gotta get a new starter tomorrow, can't really do anything tonight. I'm gonna come here in the morning, it's like 2, so it's probably not gonna be in the morning, it's gonna be definitely in the afternoon. I'm gonna try to get this video up for tomorrow. See you tomorrow, or see you today.